It's an insulated concrete form construction house. Um, we'll talk about the structure a little bit later. The layout of the house is the same, south facing windows, south facing solar panels. We have the utility meter here. We have the solar meter here. This utility meter was on the site uh, probably nine months before we started making electricity. We were doing the, the build with this meter. It didn't take very long for that meter to pass the utility meter that had already been here for nine months. This one shows a consumption of, of, of around uh, 10,900 kilowatts from the beginning of time since it's been here. Uh, we've already produced uh, almost 14,000 or 13,600 uh, on the solar, which is more energy than we've consumed, but also with the, uh, the program we're in with TVA, they pay us um, a rate that's above the rate that, that you would normally pay. Uh, for, for an example, we pay around nine cents a kilowatt hour for our electricity. And they pay us around 21 cents a kilowatt hour. So even if these numbers were even, or maybe if I used a little bit more than I produced, I would still have uh, positive cash flow from the utility company. So the whole idea of this solar thing is to drive down the cost of living in the house. Uh, that's my idea of it. And you're saving the earth, saving energy. That stuff works well too, but for the, for the homeowner, the biggest benefit is n not having any bills. We don't have gas here. Everything works off electricity. Uh, we have a well that works off electricity that we're producing. Um, we have a sewer system because we're out in the country. It's, it's not a city sewer. It's a septic tank. So there's no sewer bill. There's no gas bill. There's no electric bill. I just get paid. Here on a good sunny day, I'm betting we'll walk in there and it'll be probably around 72 degrees. Most homes struggle with not enough humidity, not enough moisture in the air because they're, they're, the heat, you know, you, in the wintertime you go in somebody's house and you go to sleep and you wake up with a dry mouth, a dry throat, that's from lack of humidity in the air because of the, the heat is kind of driving the moisture out of the air. We have a high return for the HVAC unit. And in the hallway where we came through earlier, there was a low return. We have both high and low return. And then here we have the supply back from the energy recovery ventilation system. So this is fresh, clean air being pumped in. There's no such thing as a 100% airtight home, but this is about as close as you can get. This house exceeds Passivhaus standards. Uh, it's a German standard that's not, not very well thought of in the United States. Not, not many people even think of building a house that tight. There's been people to attempt it. Very few people achieve that standard of uh, air tightness in a house. There's just there are very few of them in the country that are that tight. But this one's been tested and retested, um, and it's, it is beneath the threshold for passive house standard. For that reason, we have to bring in fresh air. Um, this is an energy recovery ventilation system. This is the control unit to the energy recovery ventilation system. It has a system that brings in fresh air, pumps out the stale air, and it HIPAA filters the fresh air that's coming in, but it scrubs across a heat exchanger, so your stale air is heating up the heat exchanger. When the fresh air comes in, no matter what the temperature is, hot or cold, it goes across the heat exchanger, and it gets closer to the temperature of the air that you just pumped out to kind of retain your, your heat. We have LED can lights above. I think they consume around 11 watts. Uh, these bulbs here are LED. They screw right into a normal light fixture. They burn about seven to seven and a half watts each. Um, and they put out more light than a 60 watt incandescent bulb, except they're not burning the extra power. And also, you can see I'm touching it. They are cool to the touch, and they remain cool to the touch. So in the summertime, they don't give you excess heat. Um, that's, that's the thing about incandescence. They add up, and they can heat the house, and you have to recool what you're heating there. And you're also spending energy. Anytime you have a heating element, you, you're paying extra energy. But these are so cool to the touch. It's kind of an indication of how very little current that they're pulling. Um, like I said, uh, throughout the whole house, every light, even the floodlights on the outside are LED. So that, that drives down the lighting load really low. 
Um, all the appliances are the lowest energy appliances that we could find at the time that we built the house. That's all, that all went into consideration on every piece of the house to try to energy star rate the house. From the ceiling fans, to the refrigerator, to the dishwasher, um, even the garbage disposal, we got the lowest energy consuming uh, products that we could find on the market. We put load switches in all the rooms. This switch is high to separate it from light switches, not to be confused with a light switch. What it does, say this system here with these big speakers, um, the amplifiers, they'll pull, I've measured them, somewhere between uh, 65 to 85 watts turned off. That, that system's pulling that much energy, just sitting there all day, every day. So what we do is we turn the switch off and it kills every bit, everything on this wall. I have the satellite receiver plugged in on the other wall. It pulls about a watt, so I'm okay with that staying on during the day. So there's no hesitation. I come in, I flip the switch on, I can watch the TV, watch movies, do whatever I want to do. And at night, we can uh, turn the switch off before we go to bed. So that's not sucking energy. We don't have to get down there and unplug or any of that stuff. It's real convenient. Right before we go to bed, just flip that off and everything's back to the way it should be. Um, living in these solar homes, a lot of people think, like the hippies, you know, you gotta go out and catch your water and, you know, that's not, as Jack mentioned earlier, we don't wanna sacrifice. So, you know, we're running big screen TVs and big amp systems, but also we're not making sacrifices. It, you know, we're living the way we would normally live, only we're getting paid for it.